Sometimes we have to look closely and pay attention to our environment to keep it safe. I'm talking about invasive species that can kill trees and damage property. Well, let's welcome Kimberly Dean, director of the USDA's Asian Longhorn Beetle Eradication Program right here in South Carolina. Good to have you. Thank you, happy to be here. It's a subject that we've never talked about before on this show. And when I saw some information about it, it really kind of struck me as being something so important for all of us to pay attention to our mm -hmm. environment. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about the issues that you're having with this Asian longhorn beetle. Yeah, so Asian longhorn beetle, it is an invasive species. It is a pest of regulatory concern. Uh, South Carolina is the sixth state where it's been detected, and we've actually found an active population where we are actively trying to eradicate it. So it is a fairly large beetle. Um, it attacks primarily maple trees and some other hardwoods, so luckily does not impact pines or oak trees uh, that are so prevalent here in the low country. Um, but it does cause a lot of damage um, to the tree, as you can see here on this log. Um, the beetles will burrow into the tree yeah. um, and structurally weaken it. So it can actually become a health hazard too if you have a very heavily infested tree on your property. Yeah, health um, hazard, I mean, trees fall into roads, they fall mm -hmm. into houses, so any number of things could happen yeah, as a result. Exactly, right? and then of course just it could be very ecologically devastating too if we were to lose these trees. So how long have they existed here in this country? And by the name, obviously, if it's Asian, it, mm -hmm. it, but where specifically does it come from in Asia? Um, so it is native to China. Okay. Um, it was first introduced to the United States in New York in 1996. Um, and like I said, it's been found in six other states. In South, Car South Carolina specifically, we found it in 2020. Um, so oh. just about two years ago, actually, exactly. It was first found in May, um, and by June of 2020, we had boots on the ground uh, doing tree surveys. Sounds like a needle in a haystack. How do you discover something like this? So uh, to be honest, most of these detections are found by concerned people in the public um, coming in, they'll find a strange beetle, they'll see strange damage on their tree, mm -hmm. um, and they'll usually report it to their local Department of Agriculture um, or a local extension mm -hmm. agency that might recognize it as you know, something like Asian longhorn beetle yeah. that then gets um, identified as, you know, possibly a pest like this. Keeping those keen eyes peeled. Mm -hmm. So kudos exactly. to the residents yes. here who are paying attention to their properties. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Now, in terms of eradicating it, what is the process in doing so? Yeah, so it can be a pretty lengthy process. Um, you know, we expect to be operating here for at least 10 years yeah. um, to eradicate this pest, but we have ground surveyors and tree climbers actually inspecting every single tree mm. in the regulated area where um, AOB could complete its life cycle on. So again, those are maples, willows, elms, birches. They have quite a wide host range. Um, attacking primarily maples, but we have ground staff that are doing inspections. Once we find an infested tree, um, we will work with the landowners to have that tree removed and shipped up. Um, that's really the- At no cost. At no the, cost yeah. to the property owners, that's yeah. correct. All of all of the um, tree removals and restoration that's involved is paid by the program. How do you think it got here? So most of these infestations are likely brought here on wood packaging material mm -hmm. from China. Um, so obviously we have the port of Charleston here, we have the port of Savannah not too far. Um, there are also a lot of other kind of high risk businesses in the current quarantine area. Um, RV parks, people might have moved infested firewood. Mm -hmm. um, the railroad runs right through our quarantine sure. as well. So we don't know exactly how it got here to Charleston, but it's very likely that it came on wood packaging material. And you really, you have to hand it to the people, the customs people mm -hmm. at the ports because we did a story there not too long ago and one of the officers saw a single tiny little speck that <laughs> you could barely see with the naked eye, but she noticed it. We were about to kind of close down. Well, she said, wait a second, I think I see something. And it turned out to be something. Mm -hmm. We don't know exactly what it was, but you've got people who are very in tuned and, and particular about those shipments, but at any point, some of these things can just fall through the cracks right. and, and show up, right? Right. Um, so where's the quarantine area right now? Um, the current quarantine area is centered around the intersection of Savannah Highway oh. and uh, 162, so over by Hollywood and Ravenel. Uh -huh. And has it spread north, west, um, south? 
it hasn't spread much farther than where we originally detected it. Okay. So back in 2020, we did a round of grid surveys to try to find out where the extent of the infestation was. So it is on Johns Island, um, as well as Ravenel, Hollywood, and some parts of Charleston. Okay, well, thank you so much for bringing that information yeah. to us. And people, wherever you may live, do pay attention to the trees. Do mm -hmm. look at those signs, the holes, the sap pouring from the holes, and call your department. Where do yes. they uh, call? USDA? Yes, they can call uh, USDA, they can call our main office line, or there's also an Asian longhorn beetle hotline that they can call. Fantastic, we'll put that on the screen. Thank All you right. so much, good to Thank have you. you. We're back after this.